this was the message that uh, James Scott delivered. Okay, it was pretty much like to talk about uh, persecution. And like, you know, like, you know, when you see like James Scott is just like, okay, no, kind of like a quiet guy, but whenever he's preaching, it's just like, oh, it is so powerful. Just like, okay, where is all this uh, energy coming from? They're all like that because like even Pastor Lawson, like, you know, is kind of like, uh, you know, he's, he's not like a big guy, but like when he's preaching, it's just like, wait a minute, like, you know, who is this person like preaching? So the message that... Uh, our uh, court did was uh, was excellent. I did enjoy him. So uh, let's listen a little bit more. And again, that means there are no exemptions for those who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus. That is the scope or the extent of this declaration. In fact, to bypass persecution, all you would have to do is conform yourself to the world around you to allow the world to press you into its mold. Do that and you'll be able to avoid persecution. And you might be thinking, well, James, don't all believers, true believers, desire to live godly in Christ Jesus? Isn't the condition just another way to describe a genuine follower of Christ? Well, there are at least two factors that can impact whether a true believer actually lives godly in Christ Jesus in any given situation. One pertains to the will of God. You see, to live in a godly manner in any given moment necessitates that you know God's will, that you understand what godliness demands of you. And situations can arise that are both complex and controversial where two christians can look at that situation and come out on completely different ends of the situation <laughs> yeah listen to what he's about to say next i thought that was uh that was something else <laughs> and i'm just thinking is there an example that would fit this particular situation <laughs> If I could just have an illustration right now, that would be so helpful. And so discerning God's will as revealed in his word is critical. All right. So that was uh, James Scott. So, now, you know, his topic was talking about uh, persecution. Then he's talking like, no, Christians can differ and come out on different uh, sides, right? So this is exactly what he experienced in Canada whenever they, you know, uh, he, they shut down his church. And then other Christians were telling like, 